So yeah, the only change here is I think they added another like higher cost rent payment. So that's fine. Let's try floor eight. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> hello again. I. Uh, I mean, I could. Let's get the bounty hunter. I, I like the idea of being able to take a thief without like any cost. I do love taking keys though. Cultist. It doesn't do anything yet though. Let's take the. I want to see if I can get like a um a dwarf build going. Yep. <laughs> More bit. I just better find these dwarfs. That pays out okay. Don't think I want to seed. What floor am I on? I'm on floor eight. Hold on, and she might add to the title. Yeah, we just did floor seven with a weird, like, bounty hunter run. Destroy itself, adds a common item when destroyed. Essence capsule, destroy itself, and gives a essence token when destroyed. I could try this, but I'm kind of afraid that it's going to kill me. <laughs> I feel like minus 12 money, like, really early is um very dangerous. Just take the common item. I don't want to die yet. Guillotine. <laughs> Billionaires are destroyed. Gives five if every symbol is different, and it ignores empty spaces. That could be bad. So I also don't know if it works with duds. I assume it would, so that probably wouldn't pay out for a very long time. And egg carton. Puts all eggs in this item before each spin. It gives one gold for each egg in this item, up to a maximum of six each spin. I mean, that's kind of nice as well, but I want to take the guillotine. Like... <laughs> it just, it sounds funny. I want an excuse. Hold on, what do, what, is, what do we get? If a symbol would take gold, it takes one less. That can be amazing. Oh, wait, I should have read the crow. That might have been one that would be good for it. Alright, destroy itself, give five gold, and destroy it. At least one of the next things would be common. I mean, it pays out five. You need to get guillotine essence. I think I've seen an achievement about that, and isn't it something like you die if you get, like, infinite money? Obviously not actually infinite, but, you know, something incredibly high. Let's take a crap. We need to get something, and I don't like the um, cultists too much. They're not very good when you only have one, at least. And... I mean, we at least have a flower, so this has some synergy. Yeah, there you go. If you get one billion, you're a billionaire. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. I never put that together. I was just like, oh, you just die when you have loads of money. That's weird. <laughs> I like it. That's a good twist. All right, we're taking a lucky capsule. If I can get some like cool early rare thing, then that could like make the whole build. Give six whenever you use a removal token. I'm probably not going to get too many of these, so I may leave that. Uh, ninja and mouse gives five times more when adjacent to each other. This effect only applies once per spin. Hmm, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna try this. See if I can find a ninja and a mouse. Alright, so here's our rare thing. And it's a... Oh, it's a chicken. I wish I had taken the, the egg thing now, but <laughs> we're still taking that. We can still get some sort of build off this. Anything egg-related? Uh, cat maybe? Cat, because I synergize with milk, and I don't know, milk is <laughs> the omelette, which is related to eggs, I don't know. There's something there. Uh, 30% chance of forcing you to add a symbol after a spin. That's actually not too bad when I still have empty slots, so I can take this for a little while. I think it did trigger as well. Yeah, I can't, <laughs> can't skip. Alright, Peach, it does at least pay out well. But if I take... Oh, Mouse for Ninja Mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I, like, immediately forgot. <laughs> uh, wolf, just because it is more expensive. But I don't like how it's, like... I'm getting forced to add something, like, every turn. Okay, Wolf Capsule gives me 10 immediately. This one gives me basically 8 immediately. This one gives me a removal token when it gets removed, but it does give me a lot of money until then. You got lucky it popped up again. Yeah, I guess I did. Does the spiffing Burret strat still exist? What, was there some sort of like exploit in this? 
I never saw him play this game, but I've seen him play a lot of other games. <laughs> so I feel like it's a lot of uh, broken things. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to take the pufffish, though. It pays out decently. All right, hold on. So, banana related, don't care. Seeds more likely to grow. Could be cool, but uncommon. If you have one spin left before your rent is due, you may skip your next spin. If you do, at least one of the items to add after will be rare or better. I think I'd take that, and I just need to remember. But honestly, the build isn't so good that I feel safe doing it. But I don't think I'm really using the other ones either, so... Worst case scenario, I just don't really use this. Uh, I do see the mouse, and I know we have synergy here, but I think I want the extra removal token. Like, I might need that down the road. Like, right now we still have, like, no synergy. Oh, big treasure chest, can't skip. You actually can roll, though, that's interesting. I assumed you wouldn't be able to roll if you were forced to add something. Rabbit? Somebody gives two more after ten spins. That just seems good. I will take a rabbit. Ooh. Have a hex of holding trigger three spins in a row. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Alright, Tedium Cat's Fuel. I, I just still doesn't seem great. I don't really want another three sided die. But I don't want a dog either, so I don't know. I guess I do take the Tedium Capsule. Alright, let's take Kemp Seven. Hey, wait, I can do it then. Alright, so I can skip now. I'm not even earning that much money, so it probably doesn't even impact me that much to skip. Other than the fact that I'm like barely paying rent, but <laughs> yeah, so I'll skip. It's a bit risky, but it means I get to see a rare thing now. And quickly the wolf, but it's in essence. Destroys itself if three or more dogs and wolves are adjacent. When destroyed, uh, dogs transform into those, and wolves give twice as, no, two more stuff this game. If a symbol would take gold, it takes 25 less. Destroys itself afterwards, what? Does this, like, give me gold? Is that how it would work? Or is there something that takes, like, a ton of money? Red pepper, give 50 if every symbol is different. This effect ignores empty spaces. Again, we have like a couple of duplicates or three, so wouldn't really do anything. Quigley's good. I don't have any dogs at the moment, but I could try. I actually have one. Hexvasion gives gold. So if I like find like a thief, it'll give me like 24 gold a thing. Or I guess 25, because I already have regular tax evasion. But I guess it would only do it once. Yeah, okay, let's take this then, because this is like permanent, and permanent is more interesting. Destroys itself if rain and flower are adjacent to each other. When destroyed, those things give twice as much. Kind of. One extra. Uh, it gives 40 and is destroyed when you spin. It gives 8 less gold for each spin. Thing in your inventory with gold you do. What? I am losing it on that one. Destroys itself after 7. Dwarves are removed. Removes all dwarves before each spin gives 17 whenever a dwarf is removed. I don't even know how to do any of these things. It would kind of work on the last run, actually, but... Do I just take this and just forget about it? Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't tell if this is actually just bad. I'm going to take a rain cloud and just forget about it. Uh, let's take this, because it pays out okay, maybe. And what is this? You may destroy this item and add... What? 66 empty spaces instead of paying rent? What does this mean? What does it mean to add 66 empty spaces? Do I get to, like, have more things on my board? These are both common. I don't want to take them. <laughs> it means bad. I mean, the fact that it only triggers when I die, it seems like it may be kind of bad, but I can't tell what it means. You just get a really bad deck. Oh. Okay. Well then, I guess I'll like, take this. Because then I may be able to like find some dogs or wolves. Or like some other things. I feel like there's a lot of those things we need. Okay. Uh, where is it? Let's pop this. Uh, dog. Yeah, I'm going to take a dog over the other ones. We'll take that. I don't have synergy with the rest. I don't know whether I roll or not. 
I feel like I can't really afford it. Yeah. Let's look. Skip. One more roll. Chicken. <laughs> Second chicken. No synergy, but I don't care. Alright, gambler. Uh, I mean, he will probably get removed because I have two three-sided die. So that's probably not terrible to take. Another bounty hunter. Don't really have a reason to do that. So don't really... Or do I want the Hex of Destruction? I don't really have anything important in my deck at the moment. I have a lot of things I actually want to break. But I don't know. If it kills my chickens, I'd be kind of upset. Same with the wolf. Or the dog. But... I don't know. I need gold. I did not see what he destroyed. <laughs> Alright, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, well I can't skip. Uh, I could take an egg because I'd be having those anyway, but I still don't have synergy for it yet, so... I'm going to take the bubble because it does remove itself. Oh, and my gambler destroyed himself. And I have no idea what that one was. Uh, I think I skip. Like, we could try for something with this egg-related, but I don't have anything for it yet. And I feel like my my build is just going to flood itself with eggs anyway. Like, sure. Show me rarer things. And yes, I would. Wait, no. What? But I don't have enough money. Skip the spin. If you do, at least one of the items to add after the paying rent will be rare or better. But I don't have enough money. Why is this prompting me? Do I die if I do this? Why do I look away for five seconds? You've taken a hex of destruction because my build sucks. I'll die. Oh, so it just like prompts me anyway? I mean, I may just be dead anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. We never actually got any synergy going. I will try again. All right. Goldfish. I'm happy to try goldfish game. Alright, two-sided die, also decent. Light bulb is also nice if you do find stuff for it, but nothing yet. At least this might be able to pay out some good stuff early. Because <laughs> you kept taking crap. They didn't offer me anything better than crap. I needed nicer things. Like, I had, like, a handful of rare things, but they were all just, like, chickens and stuff. And, yeah, I didn't have anything I could do with those yet. Jellyfish? Or I can take the chick and hope it grows into a chicken. I feel like the earlier you get it, the better it probably is. I don't need removal tokens yet, and there's a real reason to take jellyfish. Uh, Reroll does work with the thing I currently have. Pizza the cat is something. And then these things have a chance of being destroyed. I kind of like Grey Robber, because then I can just like take urns and they might auto-pop. Jelly is a tooper. That is true. But I've also skipped it. I know we have a uh, synergy for this right now, but I feel like Grave Robber is kind of cool, so. Let's see if I can get that going. An instance! How do you feel now? I could have taken a jellyfish that gives me two gold a turn, instead, I get a chicken that gives me two golden eggs. <laughs> uh, free common item or get a Matroshka doll ages in the future. I think I can survive long enough to get this. Jelly is a two per with a free removal on top. That's only if you can remove it, though, right? Oh, no, no. Oh. And that was a horrible sound. I don't know what to take here. I guess I'll take the B. <laughs> Those are not good, though. Jelly's still better. You take the five sided die. You have to take the five sided die. Leave me alone. I like my chicken. And a uh, billionaire that gives me nothing. And I don't have the guillotine anymore. <laughs> uh... This is just also not good. I can take the heart. Like, I've never done a suits build, but I don't have to get it off the ground. Alright, happy hour. All the drinks give me one extra. Tax evasion. If a simple would take gold, it takes one less. So I could maybe try and build off that. I really don't think I'm doing anything with Ricky. Oh no. I'm getting a lot of eggs. And I need this for the money. <laughs> I'm getting worried. 
suits is pretty bad nowadays. No. The old suit was busted. Oh, I never got to try it. I'm taking the bar of soap. It's self-removing, and I don't like salt that much. Alright, uh, target, maybe? I'd probably take an arrow if I found it, so I might be able to destroy it anyway. If that's how it works, actually, I'm not sure if it is. It might be, like, Robin Hood related. Uh, I don't need to stuff my deck with more, so I could probably just skip here. Like, we don't have synergy for any of this. <laughs> Sloth, sap joke here. Yeah, sadly, Sloth in this game is, uh, but a common, common thing. Hey, we got a bubble for the goldfish. Nice. Second target, save. Don't really want the void creature. Like, it's just going to pop immediately, which is like free money and it's self-removing, but I kind of want some permanent things, even if they're not amazing. I do have a key, actually, so I could just do this. Okay, you may destroy this item and choose four symbols to add. And then there's some things. I'd much rather see the symbols. All right, what have you got? Uh, I'm just going to take the gambler, I think. Like, it's going to be self-removing. Pinata. It'd be great. Oh, wait, hold on. Beehive. Gives three... 10% chance of adding honey. Let's try it. Show me a bear. <laughs> I need a bear. Tiny infinite predictions. Oh, you're right. Like, one only just started. I also did not realize that banana peels uh, killed thieves. That is information. <laughs> well, I barely have... Well, I don't have any people, so, like, dog won't do anything. I think I just, like, skip it. Then, what, take an egg just so I can keep, like, stacking these? No. No, no, no. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want any of these. I'm gonna continue skipping. I really want to find a bear, though. And there's bee synergy with the thing. That's cool. I don't know if that would have been enough to convince me to take another bee for this, but it's kind of nice. And we do have tax evasion, so magpie isn't terrible. If a symbol would take gold, it takes one less. So this would be giving me nothing, and then giving me nine every four spins. But that's still barely better than something that pays out two a turn. But it is barely better than something that pays out two a turn, so like... <laughs> Maybe I'd take it anyway. I took a wolf for like, the same reason. Sun? They just pay out well. There's no synergy, but... Oh no, one of my eggs hatched. <laughs> Gambler, you just remove yourself. Like, I don't have a way to get rid of this, and I don't have any pots. And I already have a thing that breaks pots by themselves. Oh, no. Damn, he... They just all explode the turn I take them. <laughs> Lucky dice. Destroys itself after one of these dice things give money ten times. And then those things will give one extra gold... Wait, they give one extra gold, and threes will always roll threes, and fives will always roll fives. That is amazing. That is actually amazing. That's just like some free money, and I don't care. This is like all related. So yeah, lucky dice, definitely. Destroys itself after six rabbit fluff are removed. Removes all rabbit fluff before each spin, and gives another gold whenever rabbit fluff is removed. Uh, loads of dog-related things, and one I don't really care about. The rabbit one seems interesting, but I feel like I'm spread too thin now, because I have, like, a load of rare things, like, you know, a chicken, a sun, a beehive, and a honey. And there's almost synergy there. I feel like they're one thing away from there being lots of inter-synergy. But I, I don't have it. I don't know, though. I, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with the dog, so I may try, like, the rabbit thing. Even if it doesn't do anything. Or maybe I'll just take this one. 50 gold if three or more same symbol are adjacent and not empty. Destroy stuff afterwards. It's not going to happen. I'm I'm just going to take Quinley the Wolf. Let's go. Another Matroshka. I think I can survive that. I think the bar of soap isn't too bad because I do still have my um, my fish in here somewhere. and he, he pays me pretty well if he lands next to it. But I want another Matroshka thing to pay out. And we got Egg Carton again. Great. Okay, so now when we're getting eggs, they can just, like, all go in here, and I don't need to worry about it anymore. 
Uh, don't care about swear jar. Removes all rabbit fluff before each spin and gives 10 whenever rabbit fluff to remove. That does also synergize with the other thing that I didn't take. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Egg cut. Alright, nice. Uh, yes, I will definitely take a removal capsule. A uh, reroll capsule. Another five sided die, huge. As soon as this light pops off. Dude, two fives anyway? Amazing. Uh, no. No, no, no. I don't want any of this. Okay. I also didn't realize that this meant um, it would only be active for as long as this thing is alive. For some reason, I assumed it was like after it destroys itself, then it'll always be fives, but it's still worth something. But maybe I should remove something just to like guarantee or get closer to guaranteeing that I'm actually going to be um, hitting them. So let's get rid of a regular coin that has like no synergy in this. Oh my god. Neither of the fives showed up. We needed them. I could take a B because it does have uh, synergy with the beehive, but yeah, I, I don't think that's really worth it. I want a bear. Milk. We do have a cat. I'll trust that that will get removed. Alright. Yeah, so we lost the dice thing. That's not too bad. Lucky capsule. I can finally like start using my um, reroll tokens. Cuscatana. Ninjas give two more for each other ninja. Fertilizer. Seeds will only grow into rare or better symbols. I mean, I do have sun. So like, adjacent seeds are 50% more likely to grow. And what is this? Conveyor belt. Oh my god, they're <laughs> twice as likely to add symbols. So I do have a chicken and a beehive, so that will be popping off. But I can't tell. More eggs. <laughs> thing is, it caps at six though, right? So at a certain point, I'm just going to get like flooded with honey, and I don't know what to do with honey. But I'm also not really using this, and that does nothing, so like, might as well. Jim King, Jim King, Jim King. There's like no shot. It would have to some. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. But we don't have eggs. It looks some golden eggs, but we don't have that. I could take this anyway, because he pays out well, and I can try and like steer into a food build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, chef. <laughs> Let's try and make some food. Oh, it works on honey? Where is he? It, uh, wait. Is that what honey looks like? It is. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We will skip. Yeah, I'm still, like, getting decent value out of this stuff. Yeah, this is not the beer run. I was wondering if I needed to take a dwarf to try and get rid of the beer, but <laughs> looks like we don't have any. Also, don't have a key, so I probably don't need to worry about adding a basic lockbox. I can disable items. I can, you're right. But I don't know if there's a reason to do it just to get, like, more <laughs> eggs in my build. But maybe I'll come across it. Oh my god, did I actually just get another chicken? Don't need a three-sided die. Uh, another removal token would be nice. And I know I have a dog synergy thing, but... Yeah, we're not we're not steering into that. Okay, so I have two chickens, yeah. Like, what would I do if I just like keep laying eggs? I don't know what the synergy there is. Dog. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm happy with Alice. Where? What happened? Chat, what happened? I wasn't looking. Did I just get two golden eggs on the same like turn? <laughs> Okay, well, great for this guy. I already had one. Okay, so I got like one. Destroy itself if there are at least six of these. Yeah, we already saw this. Destroys itself after three spins. All symbols are considered adjacent. I I mean, it's obviously amazing, but I don't actually know if that's going to pay out amazingly. I don't have a lot of synergy yet. Destroy itself after seven swaps. You may swap the position of two symbols once per spin. I mean, this is probably better for me. Like, I imagine, like, having 
targeted swapping is better. Telescope and swapping device go to essence. Yeah, I feel like this one's probably better for me because it's more like... Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't need to do it like every round. I can like save them. Dude, nice. If you have two spins left before your rent is due, you need to destroy this item and skip your next two spins. If you do, at least one of the next items adds. Oh, it'd be very rare. Uh, it gives 30 if at least three symbols are the same and not empty. <laughs> I'm doing rabbit stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get enough money to be able to do this one. Oh no, I no, I actually like definitely am. I'm like halfway there and I have like eight spins. Okay. I'll try and comfy pillow thing. Beast Master. I have chickens. I might get a bear soon as well if I find one of those. I have chickens, a wolf, a cat. And he just pays out okay anyway. I think I'll try that. Oh, actual lucky dice! It's piggy bank again. But actual lucky dice while I have three dice in my deck and two of them are fives. If three or more of the same symbol are adjacent and they are not empty, they give two times more. Honestly, that could be pretty good as well, but uh, yeah, I'm going for lucky dice, and I'm keeping my <laughs> my fives in here. No, so I'm assuming this lets me save it then. Check. Oh yeah, I want more eggs. <laughs> I hope it grows up soon, and this prompt is going to get annoying. Rusty gear is typically one of the best items in the game. I could definitely see that, yeah. Oh, armor as well, adjacent, these things give twice as much. I mean, to be fair, I'm probably just gonna like flood my deck with like eggs and golden eggs. And I have a chick at the moment. <laughs> Should I really be leaning into this? I don't know if I want it. Oh, disable it so it doesn't prompt, that is a good suggestion. I'll do it after I've decided what I'm doing here. I, I kind of want to just go for a food build instead of doing anything with the wolf. You have Beastmaster? I know, but I also have like loads of food stuff. I have the chef and I'm like generating honey and eggs. I'm, I'm going farmer. I like it more. Okay, so... There you go. So now he's going to leave me alone for a while. Farmer for food build? That is my thinking, yeah. Uh, I can maybe take a key. Like, I do like having a key, and then I can take a lockbox thing, but at the same time, my deck is kind of flooded at the moment. I should probably remove something. No <laughs> doggo, I know. I'm taking a key. If I ever find, like, one of the giant chests, then I'd feel bad if I didn't have a way to open it. I'm just hoping I can find something soon. I know Flower has, like, beast energy, but <laughs> I do not care. Uh, let's get rid of something then, because what don't we need? Pearl is doing literally nothing, so that can go. Cherry has a little bit of synergy, so I'd rather not get rid of that. Everything else is actually pretty expensive, so I'm choosing between, like, goldfish. It's gotta be goldfish. I can just, like, not add bubbles. And then it's, like, useless, so sure. Be gone. Because <laughs> the Beastmaster works with a bee. Well, the capsule, yeah, give me some money. Removed heart. You're right. You're right. The heart was worse because it didn't have any synergy either and it does only pay out one. I get the milk for the cat maybe. And it actually does kind of synergize because we do have some like food related stuff in here. So like it'll be okay until it's gone. And here's the thing. I can skip two turns and then one of the things would be very rare. I don't know what sort of very rare things there are. But like I need to see. I just have to see. Didn't it say it'd be very rare? I want another beehive. Like, <laughs> I'm taking this. But I better see a very rare thing soon. Oh, there. Oh, it's an item. It's a very rare item. All right, Popsicle. The conditional effects of essences must happen two times for them to be destroyed. This item cannot be disabled. That sounds amazing. <laughs> That's like doubling the value of half of them. Like, look at this. So I can get like 14 triggers out of that. And wait, wait, the dog one actually might be worse though. Okay, gambler, wait. 
Wait, does that mean Gamble is immortal? Because I have the lucky dice. So I can never roll a one. So it gives money when destroyed. No. Yeah, it gives money when destroyed and increases each spin. So I wouldn't have a way to destroy the gambler anymore, so I may skip that. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, so this one is actually kind of bad now. Not that I was really aiming for it in the first place. I'm so lost watching this because I want to explain how this game works. Uh, the idea is you start the game with like no money and an empty, empty, you know, quote unquote deck. It's probably not a deck because it's like you're adding symbols to a slot machine. But every round you get to add something new. And uh, yeah, you basically just like run the slot machine, different things interact in different ways. As you can see, everything has like a, a total payout. So like if you if it shows up on the slot machine face, then it pays out this much. But it has another ability and it'll, you know, do stuff based off that. I'm not great at explaining, but there's all sorts of like synergies in the game. And I didn't realize I had like three honey. Oh, and I'm taking another five-sided die. There's no like synergy to it, but it's just it pays out five every time. It's like taking a um, you know, a diamond with no synergy. Like that's just decent. I will not be taking the diamonds. I have so many rerolls, but I don't know when to use them. Essence caps, you'll love it. Pretty sure I'd be safe to afford it as well. Seed. So if my seed does hit the sun, then it'll grow up and I... Oh, for some reason I thought I had one of the um, things that like, guarantees it grows into something rare, but I don't. So, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Even if it grows into food and it kind of has synergy, like, I already have too many things. And everything I have is already paying out pretty well. Dude, pirates? Uh, destroys. I mean, I could just take this and, you know, buy these things when they show up. You swap on seats. I... What would I try and swap it into? Because I, I know, I you know, it's more likely to grow with a... With one of these. I don't know. I kind of want to take a pirate with, like, no synergy. See, very rare, and you go lol. Even if it's not the right move. Alright, let's do it then. So I need to remember anchor, beer, coin, and then boxes. And an orange. Okay, so I need to just feed him. Okay, what have we got? Destroys itself after loads of food things are added, and gives 33 when destroyed. I mean, that's going to be easy, I think. Because it includes, like, eggs and honey. Uh, capsule machine destroys itself after loads of capsules are destroyed. And then the effects of capsules happen three times? So it happens on, like, one capsule? You need to trigger the thing two times. You're right, so I can get, like, two triggers out of this. So if I find, like, a lucky capsule, then I can, like, find two rare things. That would be cool. Destroys itself after 25 spins. You put two thing and thing. Gives. Hmm. I mean, it's a good payout. This pays out like 100. Destroys itself after eight symbols are added after a spin. And then gives four when destroyed. What does this mean, eight symbols added after a spin? I don't have a way to use this. It's between these two. Like, this is just the safe play. I'm worried if this doesn't work. Essence capsule is going to be busted with a capsule machine essence. Oh, very true. Yep. <laughs> Piggy's destroyed after 100 spins. I don't know if you get that far. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's very true. That would take quite a while. So I'm going to take this, even if I don't really know how it works. And um, this is suit related, not really interested. Destroys itself when you pay rent. Uh, when destroyed, you choose a pepper to add. And destroy itself after seven spins. You may respin a column of symbols once per spin. I imagine this is probably the best one, but I don't really like it. If I do this one, I need to wait for like two rent payments. Okay. Okay, we'll just do oil can then. 
and omelets. It pays out three, and it's going to have a lot of synergy, because I'm going to have, like, you know, golden eggs and eggs everywhere. Maybe not eggs, because I just haven't disabled this, but... Uh, yeah, I think I take an omelet. Lemon? Empty spaces give one more. Uh, <laughs> I have uh, no empty spaces. These are all kind of bad, but lemon is food, so I kind of want to take it for that. Yeah, none of those do anything. Alright, select a common to reroll. Column to reroll. Do I want to just, like, disable this as well? Respanning and swapping takes so much brain power. Very anti slot machine vibes. That's what I'm feeling as well. Like, I feel like I could probably use swapper less. I don't know. It's, it's still too much brain. I like just hitting the button and letting stuff, like, land where it goes. You don't have to use it. Glad to hear it. Let me disable this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can feed the pirate that. Maybe. Maybe he'll get it. I hope. Uh, no. I also don't know when to use my rerolls. I want to wait until I get something rare, but, you know, guaranteed rare thing. Anchor my guy again. I could have taken an egg, actually. I'm just trying to feed him, but I don't know what his odds are of landing next to them. I'm going to take a reroll. Lockbox, I do have a key. Let's just get rid of it. Oh no, plus this actually goes towards the pirate, so like, maybe he'll get to it first. It's just a decent take. Good to say for boss or similar. True, true. Oh. <laughs> God, I hate the sound. Actually, I love the sound, but I wasn't expecting it, so it like, made me jump. Uh, cheese, I don't think I have a way to get rid of that if I took it, so... I may stick with a buffing capsule and just hopefully it'll land on something good. You're not sure if 50 per turn is going to cut it. Hmm... Well, I hope you're wrong. I think capsule. I don't need another key. Swap could be useful for opening loot boxes and stuff. Maybe enable the swapping device to swap the lock box to the pirates. Okay. Uh, it's not on screen at the moment. Is there anything else I could like move that would be more useful? I mean, I'm sure there's, like, small things I could do, but I don't think that's really worth it. Oh, damn. Have a honey give 20 or more coins. Damn, that was, like, a ton of money. Something paid out. Treasure! <laughs> uh, I don't have a way to get more rubies, but at least the treasure will get destroyed and give me a load of money. So, um, yeah, we'll take that. Oh, come on. Removal tokens every spin. Although, lucky carrot. You're three times more likely to find uncommon, rare, and very rare things. Rabbits also pay out more, but I probably wouldn't go for that. But, like, loads more rare things? I think I'm down. Alright, uh, there is still no pirates. So I can't even swap a treasure chest towards them. <laughs> probably enable respin 2 to get the lockbox set on screen. I don't know. <laughs> Neither of them are hit. I have too many things. I, I should just start removing things, I think. Alright. Uh, time capsule. I, I'm i gonna take it. I don't actually know if I need any things I've destroyed, but like, I like those too much. Alright, so I can get rid of like the hearts, the cherry. Shiny pebble, maybe? Maybe the cats? Maybe the flower? Like, that's only really synergy with the bee at the moment. It does have some synergy with the sun, but yeah. Cherry, it, it like works with a farmer and like a other another guy, chef maybe. But I think they're generally not that good. I think I don't need the key anymore because I want the pirate to eat any chest I find, so I can probably get rid of that too. Remove all the one pairs that have no synergy. The thing is, everything has a little bit of synergy except for this, the magpie. Things the magpie is like not terrible either because I have um my taxes thing, but I could. If I can see where it is, apparently I'm blind. Oh, he's right at the start, okay. Okay, we'll get rid of that, I'll get rid of the key. I'm gonna just keep getting rid of things, honestly. It's bad in my deck, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna save one removal token, maybe. You don't interact with anything, right? 
We pay out two. I don't know if that's better than a flower or not. Alright, two symbols to swap. Uh, so I can swap this towards the pirate if I really want. Or do I want to swap the pirate towards him and then maybe it'll hit something better? So I think magpie is not worth it. Yeah, it's probably fair. Alright, I'm just gonna like swap that here or something. I, I wish I could also get like the milk towards the cat or something, but it doesn't seem like I can really double up on the value here. Uh, sun. Nice. <laughs> There's just too much of this. Just like send it like this. Okay. Where did the soap come from? At least it paid out a ton. Orange, yes. The pirate loves oranges and, you know, farmers and stuff. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna disable this again, I think. For a bit. The void stone, sure. Hover over the swapping device for a sec. Alright, wolf. Uh, first, swapping device. This one. So, it destroys itself after seven swaps. You may swap the position. Two symbols once per spin. Swim swapped in this way, you give twice as much money. Swap the milk away from your cats. Oh, I forgot it works on diagonals. You're right. Yeah. Uh. When you want to swap chess, because it gives double. You did it right. Okay, cool. You're right, though. If I had swapped the pirate towards it, then that would not have been as amazing. Anyway, yeah, I think I don't want to wolf. Like, it might not be terrible, but... Yeah. Maybe reroll, because these all seem to be uncommon. Uh, another <laughs> real caps are fine. Fine, I'll take... And the cat finally got the milk. All good. Oh, orange. Just <laughs> more for the pirates. Just have to hope he actually shows up sometimes. No. Time capsule. Yes. I enjoy. Hey! Okay, so pirates actually paying out pretty well now. The reroll, or I can take power soap, but again, I don't really have any synergy for that anymore. So I'll take my reroll. Have a lot of money, so I'm not feeling too bad. <laughs> no doggo. I'm sorry, I couldn't make this one into a doggo build. Like I maybe could have gone for it, but I didn't. Oh. Hold on. So yeah, suit stuff, don't care. Destroy itself up to 12 spins. When destroyed, you choose two uncommon symbols and one very rare symbol to add. Sounds pretty good. But yeah, destroys itself if honey is destroyed by bear, and then bear gives 1.5 times more. Maxwell definitely. What am I also finding a bear? Actually, it's only uncommon. Yeah, yeah let's try it. Like, we obviously have tons of synergy for it. Hey, another bear thing. Hold on. Destroys itself after loads of food are added, and then gives some money. Uh, destroys itself if three or more of these things are adjacent when destroyed. When adjacent, when destroyed, these things give more. That's not terrible either, but it's not that likely to trigger. In fact, it can't trigger yet, because I don't even have, like, <laughs> three chickens anymore. Again, double conditions. Ah, true. Gold looks, to be honest. Yeah, I was just about to read it, but it does have bear synergy. Uh, destroys itself if there are at least three bears. When destroyed, bears give one more. Yeah. We'll try. I may just have to, like, disable... Oh, no, I can't disable my double one, can I? Maybe i just take spirits? Oh, no, I roll. We roll. If these are all going to be rare. Beastmaster. Not ideal. Hmm. <laughs> kind of want to just take another egg. Uh, I don't think taking another golden egg is the play, but it's kind of funny. What other rare things could I go for? Like, I could just end up taking, like, another, like, beehive or chicken. Midas for pirates. The problem is, we have such a big deck that I don't think is guaranteed to actually... Because I know he takes coins, like the pirates, but... I have way too many things, and I feel like I'm going to flood my deck with, like, even more junk, and then I'm going to hit the pirates. Yeah, you, <laughs> you'll explode your deck, yeah. I want to keep rolling. I want to see if I can find anything more interesting, and uh, I'm kind of feeling that. 
<laughs> this is also flooding my deck in a bad way, but like... How can I resist? Dwarves give more, wolves give more. Destroy this and add symbols. I think I just take that, honestly. I'm just doubling down. We're going crazy with this. Remove cat and other small items. Yeah, I can get like, rid of these three. Probably get rid of the pufffish too. Like, it's only paying out two and there's not really much synergy. Skip. Have some self-control. No! I need none. I want these to grow up into big chickens so we can flood our deck with eggs. <laughs> okay. Never seem to be able to find deep. Oh, we found a bear! Finally! Hey, safe also kind of works, but yeah, we have it. Dude, this is going to change everything. <laughs> Destroys adjacent honey, gives 40 for every honey destroyed, and we have bear synergy up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, I can maybe turn on one of the swapper type things soon. Save. Oh, five sided die. Again, this just pays out five every time. But let's take a safe, because again, it can just like feed into the pirates. Destroys itself after seven respins. You may respin a column of symbols once per spin. I'm gonna try that. Okay. Uh because I feel like I'm gonna be wasting the oil can either way. I just want to try and get like more stuff. At least the that guy's eating that, but then I can't use the bear. Being out five every time is now low with your build. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Lucky capsule. I see orange, but like, lucky capsule. <laughs> Alright, column to respin. Do I have any synergy on the ground? I just hate that the pirate's in the corner. If he was like more middle, then I could roll something next to him, but. Done on swapping. I've turned on this because I feel like I'm less likely to be able to use that. Swapping, I can use much more accurately. Like, I feel like I'm going to waste this either way, so I don't feel as bad about it. Hey, Maxwell came. And he even landed next to the guy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's perfect. It was actually so good. Come on, we can do better than the eggs. Show me another honey thing, although that is very solid. Okay, I just do this. I turn this off. I turn this back on, and we try to swap it back towards the pirates. Uh, it says pirate, there's a the treasure chest. So I need to swap this towards him. And hopefully do it in a way that will like, give me some other benefit. But I don't know if there are any. Nah. I don't think anything really synergizes with these things. Like, you don't work with the chickens, sadly, like you do with the... Oh no, you do work with chickens. I can throw the farmer next to these two. Okay. You need to be thinking about only bears. No. No, I like doing whatever that was. Oh, bronze arrow. No. Show me, like, another bear. Another... Time capsule. <laughs> arrow? Nah. Nah, I'm out. I'm fine. Nah, you're already next to her, honey. You're fine. You know, it's self-control. What do you mean? It's fine. Things are fine. Is it worth taking a wealthy capsule anymore? Like, it's 10 for one thing. But is it actually good anymore? No <laughs> time capsules, I like them, though. I know they're probably bad. I don't know what it added, but it probably wasn't great. I have, like, a target in here. Uh... Yeah, that was not guaranteed, rare. Okay. Find it funny how this game just turned into a <laughs> yeah, like, you know. Oh, it was always going to happen. It's fine, though. I'm going back to the oil can. Alright, so we have bear up there, pirate down here. Let's roll this to see if we can get some honey next to him. Ooh, we got a thing next to him. Remove gambler? Oh, it brought back a gambler. Yes, no, I'm very happy to remove the gambler, even if I can't destroy him.
Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm rolling this. I just need to hope oh, some honey comes this way. And one of them did. And loads of stuff came for the pirate, too. <laughs> All right, nice. Yeah, the Goldilocks one isn't even going to work, sadly. It's not very good. Team Capsule doesn't really do anything. Big Urn does, like, nothing. Like, it, it might do something with this, but... I think we're fine. I'm gonna use a reroll. Like, I'd rather find more bears at the uncommon stage. Lockbox for the pirate. <laughs> I'm taking it, Robo. <laughs> I'm taking it. Uh, roll this, maybe. He's already next to one honey here, but, like, we might be able to find some more on this side. Uh, we didn't. Oh, yeah. Big money, huge treasure chest. All right, we're flipping back to <laughs> the swapper. All right, you're next to a honey pot. There is no... I could swap the lockbox next to him, maybe, just to get rid of it. That could be fine, maybe. Sadly, there's no, like, honey next to the pirates. So I can't swap another one next to him, but... Yeah, do that, maybe. Lockbox for pirate is fine. Yeah, it, like, gets it out of the way. And, like, I wanted it to pop as soon as possible anyway. Alright. <laughs> Another farmer. It doesn't really work though. Like, we are getting most of the money from um, getting honey and then feeding it to the bear. I can't believe we have three beehives though. So, yeah. I'm gonna roll that. <laughs> uh, I want another chicken. I want another chicken. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Ooh, Ancient Lizard Blade. Gives eight every spin. Gives one less for each symbol in your inventory with a quality of two or more. Can I give less than zero? <laughs> Can I take the chicken? I did. I did take the chicken. <laughs> this doesn't even seem that good. I don't, I don't know what a quality of two is. But, like, I have to assume I have a uh, lot of bad things in my inventory and it's just going to, like, pay out for nothing. Although, wait, yeah, so max is zero, so like, worst case scenario is just fine. Minimum zero, I mean. I was gonna take it. It's very rare. Uh, too simple to swap. You have. Ooh. Wait, do I swap this even though it's already next to him? Because if I swap it, it pays out for twice, and that's like a free 50 money. You know, it's the one trigger for this for 50. Like, that's, that's pretty solid. Is there really anything else I can do with these? I'm gonna do it. Blade seems very bad for you. It is! Like, I think it's not going to do anything, but the other ones didn't do anything either, and it said it's like... It can't take away money. I think. I'm hoping I didn't misread it. Yeah, it cannot give less than zero, so I think it's just a... It's just a meh. Should probably remove, like, target or something. If you swap the bear, not the honey, it gives 180. 80 per honey. That is good info, thank you. <laughs> okay. I need my bear to show up again. Essence capsule. Do I get this to pop again? Yeah, I guess I would. This would happen, like, one more time, but I don't think it would work very well, but... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be taking that. Do some swap. We do have the bear. So, swap the bear to the honey, you said. I wish I could get it into two of them, but I can get it next to the Beastmaster as well, so I can get it, like, between honey and him. Seems pretty good. <laughs> 378. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. Hello, five-sided die. Uh, I, I just want to roll for more bears, honestly. Although we don't have a ton of honey, and we can always shift, like, shuffle it towards it. Maybe I can like look for more honey pots. All right. No. So I need to shuffle the. Wait, you said bear to the honey, right? I've just like lost it. Yeah, yeah bear to the honey. So get this guy, move him. I guess just. Yeah, doesn't really matter. I was <laughs> so close to doing honey. I was, yeah. 
I clicked it and then I thought I couldn't unselect it and I got very worried. Uh, I'm taking a reroll capsule. I enjoy these too much. Alright. I see no reason to use any of these. I think I'll let that slide. Fantasian! <laughs> thank you for the 11 months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. I think we're good. I don't need to do anything here. We have so many chickens. There are five chickens. I don't even have good synergy for them. They're just everywhere. Yeah, Tedium Capsule doesn't do anything. It's one of the bad ones. Uh, no bear. Not really anything to swap towards him either. <laughs> Meep. Wealthy Capsule. I still don't think that even pays out very well. I could take it. I'm gonna take it. I like taking capsules because they remove themselves, even if it's not very good. And yeah, so I can swap the bear like to itself. Sadly, I can't really like wedge it between like another, you know, honey and the beastmaster again. But it's probably worth something. So I throw this like here, yeah, maybe. What's that? My man is personally solving the egg crisis going on. Oh, I'm trying my best. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to turn down some like void stones, and I know it's not even like worth that much. So yeah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Uh, another one here. Sadly, can't wedge in between the Beastmaster, but it's just, it's just so much money every time. It's like 200. It's huge. Okay, I'm gonna like hold back on it now because I definitely need to save some of these for the boss. But yeah, that was great. The reroll, love it. Yeah, okay, so I need to disable that now. I wanna save some. Well, <laughs> I need to get some more honey first, but I do wanna save some for the boss. So, disable that. Probably not gonna bother with the oil can either. Might just like leave that. As sad as it is. Okay, it's boss time. Let's go. What's the furthest I've gotten into this game? Uh, this is it. <laughs> I'm kind of on a win streak at the moment, but like, yeah, I'm still working my way up the floors. I'm on floor 8 at the moment. Anyway, Devil's Deal. Destroy it. Destroys itself if you can't afford your rent. It gives 33 when destroyed. I mean, it's 33 money if I need it. Uh, gives 40 and is destroyed when you spin... Gives eight less for each symbol in your inventory with a quality of two or more. Kind of give less than zero. This effect ignores this. These two were like with each other last time. I feel like I can just take this. Sure. It's not good, but it doesn't really do anything either way. Destroys itself if sun and moon are adjacent. We do not have any moons, and I probably wouldn't take any. Uh, rabbit fluff related, it's not going to happen. Destroys itself when you skip an item. When destroyed, you choose two items to add. I could maybe try that, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to find any more items. Devil deals don't even work because you need the condition two times. That is a very good point. Ramen's good. I mean, can I even get an item offer anymore? The other two sucked, but... Like, does this does this count as an item offer? So like if I skip this, then would I be able to see two more? I know it says add an item, but I don't know if essence is um, different. No. So, okay, so if I skip this, I probably just like lose out then. Uh, destroy itself after a load of these are destroyed. And then those things give more. Destroy itself if two symbols are added after a spin. And destroy itself after two spins. When destroyed, you choose two symbols to add. I... Yeah, that won't do anything. And it'd have to be double. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. None of these do anything. I guess I'll just take that, but... Okay, this is... Oh. Uh. <laughs> My meme build. I'd rather find more, <laughs> more beehives. Oh, I have rolls. I want more beehives more than I want chickens, but if I don't find a beehive, then I'm not going to care. Hmm. What a conundrum. <laughs> the chicken sucks, but is Mimi. I'll try and roll for a beehive. <laughs> Instant. Instant beehive. Oh, quad beehive. Loving it. 
And I actually did get an item. Wait, so I can skip this. Sort of. Wait. Yeah, how does them this work? Destroys itself when you skip an item. When destroyed, you choose two items to add. So I'd have to skip two items to get the ramen to work. And I don't know if I'm even going to get another item offer. So like, I may just be skipping an item for no reason. Or am I... Or am I missing something there? <laughs> I'd appreciate advice if anyone knows. Skip. Alright. Those things did suck anyway. Hey! Oh, but... I mean, do I skip to get my ramen thing to pop? Or do I just take a very big symbol bomb? Because like, eight symbols to add. So, although I don't really want to add a load of stuff unless it's like really rare. But I do have a lucky thing somewhere, which means I'm more likely to find very rare stuff. I don't even remember getting the lucky cat. Where's the actual lucky thing? Was it on a different run? I'm like losing it. My ramen thing did pop, no? I don't think so. No, we, we took away one of the twos. It had a two on it before and now it doesn't, I think. The carrot. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, lucky carrot and we have a lucky cat. So we have a lot of luck. Is this not the extra items? I don't think so. I think we serve the ramen, like, waiting. I think we need to skip another item. Are you getting more items? I don't know. I'm gonna take the very big symbol bomb, though, if we can find something cool. Oh, there's another thing anyway. Hold on. Why am I getting, like, a spam of items? Okay, so rain does stuff, gives stuff whenever the symbol is destroyed. It's like, this gives a little bit of money, but it doesn't really matter, so I could, like, you know, test this. This is the ramen triggering? Oh. Well, okay, then. <laughs> Sorry. So I guess I should just, like, take the black pepper. Popsicle means it triggers twice. Oh, I'd, I'd have to... Yeah, hold on. Conditional effects of essences must happen two times for them to be destroyed. This item cannot be destroyed. See, I assumed that meant that I would have to skip two items before this is destroyed. Oh well, either way, like, I'm I'm testing it for my own terrible logic. I'm gonna skip this, and, uh, because this really doesn't do anything, it's the best out of all of these, so I'm going to skip and see what happens. More items! <laughs> you may destroy this item and add loads of bears! Bears, 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 bears. Yeah, see, like, now the, the soup thing is gone. See, it's actually not here anymore. So I, I don't think I need to skip anymore. I think I'm done. I do take like one of these things. I can even get the black pepper again. <laughs> or the yellow pepper. That's more likely to give me stuff. I don't know how many things I'm destroying a turn, but... Yeah. Oh, black pepper. Fine. All right. Give me my bears, even if I barely have any <laughs> honey at the moment. And what do I get rid of? I refuse to get rid of an egg. Let's get rid of the three-sided die. It's like guaranteed to be a three, and I know my wolf is worse than that, but maybe he hits the Beastmaster and it's nice. You met the conditions, it triggers, but it doesn't destroy it. You meet the conditions again, it triggers it and destroys it. Okay, yeah, that is bad wording then. <laughs> it definitely said like when destroyed, it does this thing. So I assumed because it hadn't been destroyed, it wouldn't trigger, but I think it like spammed with items, so fair enough. Calm an item when destroyed. This one's not going to do anything probably, so I'll take the item thing. I should also be having like swapping device and stuff enabled. Not that it's going to make much of a difference. I think we're going to destroy him in like two turns. Uh, time capsule. I'm taking the time capsule. I don't care. I have a removal token if I need. Okay. Uh, there is currently nothing I can do on this one. I'm just going to let that roll, I think. Actually, I could respin a column. There's not really any reason to hold back on that. Let's like spin this one, because then if I um, get honey, then it can hit the Beastmaster as well, and that's kind of cool. There was none. I will not swap. And garlic, thank you for the hydration. Some essences are really poorly worded. When in conjunction with Popsicle, say they're destroyed, then the effect happens, but the Popsicle effect revives the essence, and the effect happens, and it still exists. Oh, chicken. Chimkin, welcome. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I don't even know if I even have any honey in my deck. I need my beehives to trigger more. I may just roll this to see what happens. Or roll down the mid. Nah, roll this one. Let's see if we can get some more like honey or something. 
Any of these gonna pop? Give me some honey. We're getting hungry. I'll not take any of these. We <laughs> don't need it. I may like use up the final like rolls though, because otherwise I'm gonna wait too long. Buffing capsule could be amazing. Do I have any honey in here? I have one honey. And it's not here. <laughs> Bring me my honey, please. No. Okay. I just want to like destroy him with a honey. And the symbol bomb. I completely forgot about it. You're right. Thank you. I'm probably just going to flood my deck with junk now. And I haven't been reading the um the debuffs. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, Team Capsule don't care. Why am I like slapping him every time I do a thing? Team Capsule, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay. Item Capsule, yes. Uh, loot box kind of works with the pirates, but... I have to skip Pepper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that was that then. Okay. Still no honey. And there's no pirates. I can't even swap the lockbox into them. Uh, roll this one, maybe. Oh, pirate. Okay. And I can swap the lockbox to the pirates, and then everyone's happy. And then I think he's probably dead. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. There he goes. Win a game on floor eight. That was a very, very solid run. <laughs> very weird, though. Would have been funny to have beaten with skips. It would have, yeah. If I had enough, I would have gone for it, but... Yeah. <laughs> Eight, nine, honey. Look at all this stuff. It's not quite the same as, like, eating nine uh, toddlers, but, you know, I'll take it. Have a good pop score run. This was, like, so overpowered. Like, the items we had were just insane. And I love, like, Lucky Cat, Lucky Carrots. <laughs> so many rare things showing up all the time.